Hello friends, welcome to Basic Electrical YouTube channel. So in this lecture, uh, again we are going to uh, study the uh, important concept of three phase power measurement topic. In that, uh, we are now studying, explain the effect of power factor on wattmeter readings. See, this topic is required only to understand the subject and to solve the problems in a confident manner. No theory question will be asked on this topic. Okay, this is the syllabus content. In this topic, definitely they will ask two watt meter method, either for star or delta connector method. But for solving problems, this gives some idea. Okay, and to answer some viva questions, so this topic is very helpful for basic electrical lab. Let's start, guys. You explain the effect of power factor on watt meter readings. So what will happen if I change the power factor? What happens to the wattmeter readings? Okay, let, let's start. Okay, we know that, we know that for lagging power factor loads, lagging power factor load. Okay, what is wattmeter when reading? Please tell, VL, IL, very good, VL, IL into cos, 30 minus pi and W2 reading is VL IL into cos 30 plus pi. Take this equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. So let you can analyze for different power factor conditions what happens this wattmeter readings. Let me start case 1. See case 1. Now I am taking when when power factor is 0, when power factor is 0, what, what will be the wattmeter readings that I am analyzing? So power factor is what? Cos pi. Cos pi value is 0. So from this, what we get pi value? Cos inverse of 0. What is cos inverse of 0? 90 degree. Okay, cos 90. Put pi value 90. Cos 90 is 0. So power factor 0 means the value of phase angle will be 90 degree. Now, put pi is equal to 90 degree in equation 1 and 2. So, by putting pi equals to 90 degree in equation 1 and 2, we get like this. VLIL into cos 30 minus 90. What is cos 30 minus 90? Minus 60. Very good. VLIL into cos of minus 60. We know that cos of minus theta is cos theta only. So therefore I can write VL IL into cos 60. What is cos 60 value? What is cos 60? Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Then cos 60 will be 1 by 2. So this will become 1 by 2 VL IL. So when power factor is 0, W1 reading will show half of VL and IL. Okay, similarly, what happens to the W2? Now, W2 reading will be VL into IL. So, let me write neatly. VL IL into cos. Put pi is equal to 90 degree in equation 2. So, 30 plus, 30 plus pi value is 90 degree. Okay, 30 plus 90, 120. So, VL IL into cos 120. 120 is second quadrant. Cos is negative. So this value becomes minus of VL into IL. So when power factor is 0, okay, both white meters, both white meters will show equal reading only, but opposite in sign. This is positive reading and this is negative reading. But the value of the reading is same when power factor is 0. So therefore, after completing this, you should write a note point. You should write a note point. What I am telling, that note point you write here. Okay. So I am telling now, when power factor is 0, both wattmeters will show equal and opposite readings. Understood? Fine. I will write here. So it shows equal and opposite readings. 
ओके इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट रीडिंग्स व्हेन इट हैपेंस व्हेन पावर फैक्टर इज जीरो पॉज द वीडियो एंड देन कॉपी डाउन सो वी कैन राइट इट हियर नो नीड नॉट टू एरेस ओके लेट मी राइट हियर नाउ केस टू केस टू व्हेन पावर फैक्टर इज 0.5. Now I am taking when power factor is exactly 0.5, then what happens? See, power factor is cos pi is 9.5, so cos pi is 0.5. From that, what I will get pi value? 60 degree I will get. Pi is equal to cos inverse 0.5. Do it in calculator. You will get 60 degrees. Okay. Now put that pi is equal to 60 degree in equation 1 then 2. Then simplify. So in equation 1, I am applying. So W one is equal to V L I L into cos thirty minus sixty. Okay. See, I'm I'm not doing anything. Simply I'm putting pi value in one and two. That's it. So thirty minus sixty. So minus thirty. So V L I L into cos of minus thirty. Cos of minus theta is cos theta only. So V L I L cos thirty. Cos 30 value is root 3 by 2 Vl into Il. So this will be watt meter one reading when power factor is 0.5. Similarly, apply pi is equal to 60 degree. Second equation. Okay. So W2 is equal to Vl Il into cos 30 plus pi. What is pi value in our case? In second case, 60. 30 plus 60. 90 so therefore vl il into cos 90 so what is cos 90 zero zero into vl il zero so therefore you write a note point okay what no note point you can write when power factor is 0.5 one of the watt meter shows zero reading one of the watt meter shows zero reading That note point you write here, okay? So that is when power factor is 0.5, one watt meter shows zero, okay? Or one watt meter reads, one of the watt meter reads zero, okay? Important. So next case three. You do only three cases. One when power factor is zero, when power factor is 0.5. Next is power factor is equal to One. Don't take each and every digit after zero. Let's take point one, point two, point three, point four. Don't do like that. Three cases: low, medium, high. Okay. So now case three. Case three. When power factor is unity. When power factor is unity. What happens? Cos pi is equal to one. Therefore pi. Pi will be what happens? Cos inverse of one. Cos inverse of one it gives what? Zero degree. Okay. Now put pi is equal to zero here. What is cos zero? One. So we got it. Now put pi is equal to zero in equation one and two. So I'm I'm writing that. W one is V L I L into cos thirty minus zero, and W two is V L Il into cos 30 plus 0. So 30 minus 0 is 30 only. So therefore, Vl Il cos 30. Cos 30 value is root 3 by 2 Vl Il W one reading. Next to W two reading Vl Il cos 30 plus 0 cos 30 only. What is cos 30? Root three by two, V L I L. So what you can conclude now, when power factor is one, both watt meter shows equal and positive readings. Okay, equal and positive readings. Write a note point. When power factor is one, both watt meter, both watt meter. Reads both watt meter reads equal and positive. Equal and positive. 
see this is some subject knowledge you get so you know by knowing the um, values of the wattmeters you can easily uh, justify your uh, approximated power factor value so i will tell for example i will ask one question w1 is 5 kw w2 is 0 watts what is the power factor you need not to calculate one of the wattmeter is zero now what is the power factor 0.5 okay this condition like that now when power factor is uh, what is the power factor when w1 reads 1 kw and w2 reads 1 kw both readings are same now what is the power factor 1 you need not to calculate directly you can tell okay next up. when power factor so let me take this w1 is 5 kW, w2 is minus 5 kW. What is the power factor? 0. Because equal and opposite reading, same reading only, but opposite in sign. Under that condition, what is the power factor? 0. Okay, equal and positive readings, power factor is 1. One of the attributes shows 0, power factor is 0. 0.5. Okay, got it? Remaining cases. Okay, sir, so what happens if the power factor between 0 to 0. 0.5? Between 0 to 0. 0.5, one of the wattmeter is positive, other wattmeter shows negative reading, but not zero. Okay. So, sir, more than 0.5 and less than 1. What happens? Both wattmeter shows positive reading and unequal. Okay. More than 0.5, less than 1. Both, both wattmeter readings will be positive only, but not equal. Suppose, for example, one shows 5 kilowatt, other will show 7 kilowatt. But both readings are positive only. So, we can analyze all these things. Okay, you already have strong concept by, by this topic, you can easily solve problems. Okay, so without solving, you can easily judge what is the approximate value of the power factor for a given problem data. Okay, understood guys, pause the video and then copy it out. Next lecture is, I am going to list out all the formulas, whatever we learned in preface AC circuits. So please take a separate sheet and note down all the formulas and while solving problems you keep that formula sheet at one side and see the problem and apply the formulas. Okay got it. So I will explain much in the next lecture. Okay. So by this lecture three phase AC circuits all theoretical concepts are covered in depth. Okay got it. So please watch the lectures regularly. You cannot watch all the lectures in one day, okay, on daily basis, okay, you just go through the, go through all lectures, okay, you cannot study, I want to study this module too before the exam, no, not possible like that, you study now itself, make your own notes and go through that notes for final real time exam, okay, got it, have a nice day, take care and uh, meet you on next lecture, formulas list on preface AC circuits, after that followed by Problems on three-phase AC circuits.